All right, let's look a little bit about three safety defense here against a uh, Yo Trips formation from Kansas State. Here's Iowa State. This is a, a, a few years ago, but something to note uh, when when Iowa State plays, um, basically they're three down front. So what you should look at is you should get um, outside shades and a head up nose because they've got a tight end. All right, when they've got a tight end, whether he's off the ball or on the ball, if it's an H back. Um, they're going to play outside shades, and that keeps uh, keeps them kind of being able to play the edges. If there's any type of down block from the tackle, we could spill some of the gap schemes that um, can get run against this front. The two inside backers uh, are going to sit in the box mainly because there's a single wide receiver, so that pushes this outside backer back into the box. You're two over one here. You have some options with covers that we'll talk about later. The joker safety is going to play in the middle of the field about eight to ten, and he's going to relate to number three. You're still three over two on the outside. Um, it is a light box, especially against a tight end front. Um, and, but you're going to see there's still the ability to to push the zone out to the edges. Uh, you're going to see an inside zone play here by Kansas State. And the beauty of this this front and how they play it um, gets you gapped up uh, along the front, pushes the ball to the edges where you've got your skinny guys running. Uh, and so we're going to look at that now. So, again, the coverage options can be, you know, whatever you really want because uh, you're plus one in the coverage option, plus you've got a guy relating to three. So three blocks he's going to insert, and now we'll immediately get to a six-man box plus seven or eight, depending on, you know, who's going to be the one uh, to join join the box. Uh, could even get to a nine-man box pretty easily. So you're going to see here on the zone, what you notice here, and well, let's look at the butt shot first. What you notice here on the zone is the ability to play the lag technique is, is fairly easy to me as the nose, just because if you're playing forward uh, and you get a zone step and you get this natural double team, you're automatically playing in that lag gap. Uh, you don't have to fight necessarily to the backside. You're automatically kind of, you know, uh, in that gap just as a um, – kind of a, a default uh, whenever you're playing, especially a good zone team. And so now he's going to play this A gap, thicken this up, and now either he's going to chip up to the next mic and now it's one-on-one -on -one again and, and you can win or holds this double team and allows these guys to fit. So you can see this defensive end's getting a down block, so he's going to squeeze into this essentially still the C gap. The uh, mic backer is going to fit into the B gap. The uh, will backer is going to fit into the A gap. This end, who's head up right now, he is going to fight back into the B gap. And so now you've only left yourself a D gap to the uh, to the weak side, or excuse me, to the, to the back side. And then you have your C gap is open to the play side. And so the idea here is, even though it is a light box presentation at the very beginning, um, and, and Iowa State seems to be outnumbered, they have the ability here to push this ball now out to the edges. So we're gapped up front side. It doesn't look like he has any space to go backside. Even with that tight end squeezing it down, you've got the joker safety triggering. And he's going to be your outside fitter. So if there's a keep, uh, he's got the keep or the bounce back, cut back either one. And now pushes this ball to the outside. And so now you have options as far as who's going to make, um, who's going to join the edges. And you have the safety coming here. So let's go back to the wide shot. So once the gaps are, are once they're gapped up in the middle, now you see the options are here and here. Whether that's a keep from the quarterback or a cutback from the running back, now you've got to account for both outside gaps. And so whatever coverage you're playing here, if you're playing a quarters, uh, you could get a trigger here and fit. You should get a fit here quickly because three is the tight end is blocking. He should know I'm going to fit into the box now. And then whether you're playing an inverted halves, what they call their soft look, or um, you know, a hard cover too. Um, they're going to be able to fit one of these guys in, and then the second guy's going to be late once he realizes. So because of this route by number five here is immediately getting to the safety to block one, uh, the cornerback knows, okay, and now I can fit to the outside uh, and box everything back inside. The safety does a really good job of fitting. His only issue now is he's got this edge. He's got to trust that if he continues to run and plays off this edge, this guy's got no other option but to go that way. And that's what we want to do. Push it to the edge, allow the corner to now set, make him try to get there. And either he gets blocked, but now he's closed that gap, and now the corner can make the tackle, or the corner can set the edge. He wins, turns it back in, and now there's the safety to make the play. 
Um, you also have, if the ball continues to make it uh, out front, you should see the Joker now scrape back over the top of the of the pile. And you've got your other guys running too. So the, the corner is really just trying to box this in, get it back that way. And now the safety should be trying to spill it out to the corner. Um, his issue here is he slows down. So you can see everything looks good right here. He's already, He really should already have beaten this wide receiver. If he continues to run, if he doesn't break down there, he's got to trust it and his angle's good. Keep coming off this angle, and then you should banana it out as you press him to the outside. Um, but he does play thick in this, blows this up at least enough to where the ball's got to bounce, and now they ended up vice tackling it back uh, for a two- or three-yard gain. Um, so even though there's a light box, they've got a tight end, and you look like you're in a disadvantage, uh, Iowa State is able to uh, bounce the ball to the outside, um, use their speed, uh, and make the play on an inside zone uh, and keep things uh, to a minimal gain here.